welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new. My name is Danielle. I have one class today, so it's not even like I'm spending the whole day at school. And while we're at it, let's talk about what I've been up to, why I like wiped off the face of the earth <laughs> for the past like year, and why, you know, why, why I'm coming back. Yeah, so I moved into a new apartment in my second year, the year that just passed where I didn't film like any videos. So now I have my like third set of roommates that I've been with now. Got new roommates, got new apartment. <laughs> Changed my program. I was, I was in economics and I realized I really can't do calculus. I really can't do calculus for the life of me. So I decided to make my, okay. I made my major, my specialization. So before my old program was economics and public policy in the French immersion stream with co-op. I dropped co-op, still in French immersion, but instead of economics as my major, I have public administration as my major. So I, yeah. It's interesting. There's, it's definitely like a different type of class that I'm not really used to because, you know, I really haven't had to uh, read <laughs> period for like a long time. So learning how to read again has been really fun. Like, why are there so many readings? What is up with that? But yeah, let's see if I have some hair clips. There we go. Okay. So I have my hair clipped back. I'm just going in with, um, oh man, damn it. Okay, hold on, let's redo this. We're gonna move <laughs> this concealer to my forehead. So let's just get through the updates. Major updates, I moved apartments. I have a new roommate. I have, <laughs> I got new roommates. And then I changed my program. What else? No, I just feel so much better than in first year. Cause like in first year, Gosh, I was going through it. I was a little, I was a little, I was a bit upset. I was pretty upset. I've seen this, I don't know, somewhere on the internet, but you put the red um, blush under your eye. Just like this. And then um, it's supposed to be like a color correcting, you know? Those are my big updates. Yeah, first year was a big flop for me. You outgrow some people and that will take a toll on you, but hey, life goes on. In second year, I chose not to do videos or like make YouTube videos just because I could barely get up. I could sometimes not even get out of bed. I'm filming on my iPhone. Okay, I have a camera. I literally have a camera, but I don't know how to use it yet. My phone ran out of storage, so here we are. I'm just gonna recap what I did, cause well, I have eyebrows on and I have blush. I'm not done my eyebrows, but here's what I did for blush. I went in with Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Hope. So I just put two dots here, two dots here, uh, blend, then blended it out with this Whoops. <laughs> Smaller brush. I went in with this like drugstore powder powder blush. I didn't even get into the topics yet of my video because I was just yapping. yapping. I, was I was literally, literally just, just yapping. yapping. Just disclaimer before I start talking about all my five top tips to improve your mental health when you're in a slump and when you don't feel that good. I am not a therapist. I don't look like one. I don't have the education to be one and Frankly, I don't really want to be one. But yeah, so anyways, I'm not a therapist. So just because these tips help for me, they might not help for you. So I'm not guaranteeing that these tips are gonna help for you. But I'm just saying that if you're in a slump and you also want to take care of your mental health, then you could definitely try out some of these tips. So I went in with the powder blush like this and I put it on my nose. While the camera was off, I went in with this 24 hour brow setter. So I, I had to focus and I just brushed it out. Okay, this is what the applicator looks like. And I brushed out with the um, kind of fuzzy part and I go like this, 
and then I take the comb part where it's like a little smaller and skinnier and I just like comb it out and shape my brows like that. Now, okay, we're all caught up to speed. Great, great, great. Yeah, so my first tip for improving your mental health is positive self-talk. So before I start talking about that, we're just going in with the uh, NYX brow glue in black. I just slightly, ever so slightly, run through my eyebrow hairs with this to give it some color. Positive self-talk, super important. It can be as little as, wow, I only cried once today. Good job. Or even though I rotted in bed all day, I still feel amazing because I gave myself time to rest. So thank you for doing that. Or it can be as big as, wow, I am feeling myself today. I This is when you can get into like the whole manifestation. Um, positive affirmation stuff where you know you're like i am the luckiest girl in the world i shine from inside and out i don't know like if you're into that that you're into that me not so much i just say okay you slayed the day today and that's great yeah i'll just be like okay like wow i have gone through much worse things in my life i can get through this now or sometimes I'll tell myself, like, it's okay, you've made so much progress. Why, why stop now? All the work that I've done, so I'm saying you as in, like, me. So it's like, if me was talking to me, so that's why when I'm talking to myself in my head, like a normal person, um, I'm saying you as in, like, oh, you're doing great. People also kind of, like, if this, was kind of hard to understand then maybe thinking of it as like what well, you're just talking to a friend so if your friend goes to you and they say i'm having the worst time balancing like five courses and i'm finding it so hard to find a job and i have no friends you're not going to call your friend a loser and you're not going to call your friend a bum so why would you do that to yourself but yeah let's do bronzer or contour or whatever you want to call it it's this milk makeup one tip two is always be on your own team so i just recently started implementing this in my life but it's like you're always putting yourself forward like you're always choosing yourself so be on be on your own team so i think like this came about when my little brother um he was staying with me during the summer and he was like he calls me and i okay but he was like and i um i'm team you like even if you're doing bad things even if you're not doing something for yourself that's like in your best interest i'm still team you because i support you and i'm like oh thanks i love that so throughout this past like year this past semester if i ever needed to like take a beat take a pause and do something for myself i would always say like okay i'm choosing team me i'm choosing team me and that's okay so sometimes my mental health is really like so i'll have to stay home i will literally miss class not not saying that you should miss class but sometimes you just can't right sometimes you just can't make it to class so i would literally just stay home I wouldn't do schoolwork, I would literally just rest. I would watch a movie to make myself feel good. I would eat like good food and I'd cook for myself and all. That's because I'm choosing team me. Be on your own team, it really helps. Who are you competing? Who are you competing with? The person next to you? The person beside you? Um, no. I feel like, again, in this city, only in this city, maybe in this province, it's like really, really competitive whether Oh my gosh, how many clubs are you doing? How many courses are you taking? You're not working two jobs, what are you doing? Yeah, so anyways, maybe I'll do a video about that and my thoughts. Be on your own team. It goes a really long way. This is one of my favorite palettes. It's kind of nasty inside because I've used it so much. These are the colors, please don't mind it. It's really gross looking because I use it and I just love this palette so much. I'm just gonna go in with <laughs> The colors Manila Sands and Mango. Tip number three is always go at your own pace. So I was talking and I was touching on briefly that people here or maybe people at like your own school, if you're watching this and you go to a different university, maybe they're like president of like two clubs and then they're like volunteering at three different places, then working two jobs and whatever, like the list goes on and on and on. 
you might feel pressured to do these things. I know for one, I felt pressured to do these things. I was running for like stuff that I didn't really care about, applying to so many jobs and like really spreading myself thin. In the long run, that's not good for you. I was really not looking out for myself, which was kind of tragic. Just go at your own pace. If you want to focus on school and not work, that's cool. If you want to be more uh, participative and make, make those friends in those clubs and join those clubs and do all the things, then sure, why not? But it's more so just go at your own pace and try not to compare yourself to others because that's when it gets bad and that's when you stop enjoying things that you actually like. So yeah, go at your own pace, enjoy the things that you do because if you're just doing it for like clout or maybe just because everyone else is doing it then you won't enjoy it as much and you're spending all this money to break your back over school and jobs you don't even care about and clubs you don't even care about that much that's crazy that's crazy go at your own pace and don't compare yourself to your peers or your colleagues or your friends or whatever okay because i would do that and it would make me feel so bad. I would feel so bad. I feel like now I've gotten better at it. Tip number four is take as much as you can carry. So all of these things are like revolving around like, choose you, self care, self care. You're gonna care about yourself. Only take on as much as you can carry. I will give you a prime example. In my second year, first semester, I was already incredibly unwell right and i was moving into a new apartment with not my parents usually they would do like a lot of the heavy lifting quite literally so it was just like me and my friends helping me move into this apartment and i was already stressed about um starting two new jobs one at the university and then one at the house commons yeah i was taking five courses still struggling with math and then what is it? I was trying to put myself in all these, you know, very troublesome positions. And I was also volunteering to be a 101 guide. I'll put a description of what a 101 guide is somewhere here. Why was I spreading myself so thin? Well, I know why, because I'm the type of person that will like take up so many things just to like avoid feeling something else. So if you're that kind of person, that and say no say no to taking on more things it's okay but yeah so i was just spreading myself super thin and i couldn't handle it if i was doing really good in one job then i was probably doing really poorly in the other and if i was doing like showing up to class i probably wouldn't be feeling too great or like i was probably messing up at work so in the long run i i had to quit my student ambassador job like at the university because i really just i couldn't i really couldn't take it i'm just going to go in with the sparkly shade it's called title holder and i'm going to put it on my eyelid just like that in the middle just to i don't know make it feel nice and shiny but yeah so anyways take on as much as you can carry and like carry comfortably not like with your shoulders weighing down and like breaking your back over whatever it is that you have going on but just take as much as you can carry and i feel like maybe i was in my head about this whole like hustle culture that we have here in ottawa maybe at this university maybe also at carlton i don't know but yeah i know i know for a fact like the city they love the hustle culture but yeah, so anyways, next I'm going in with this Dior um, highlight. It's the backstage highlight kit. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go in with a fan brush. I just, look at this, swipe all of them. Yep, I just swipe all of them. No technique, no nothing. I just, you know, kind of go through here. Anyways. Now that I'm in my big third year, and you'd hope that I learned something, there is some technique to this one. I do this color, which is peach. Yeah, I take this color, which is peach, and just at the corner of my eyes, we're going to do some eyeliner. This is an Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil, waterproof, and it's brown. Yeah, so my last tip is celebrate the small wins. Wait, okay, hold on. We need to focus. We're doing some eyeliner. 
Ooh, I don't know. Usually I go for a more dramatic look, but I've been leaning into my no makeup makeup look. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna touch it anymore. <laughs> okay, celebrate the small wins in your life. They can be as small as, wow, I went to class today. That's a big one for me, okay? For anyone that's like friends with me, my sister, my roommates, if I went to class today, it was a great day. Or if I had a good sleep. If I had, I had trouble with sleeping, and if I had a good sleep, I would be like, so slay. That's amazing. Like, they could also be like big wins, like, oh my gosh, I got a raise in my job. That's also amazing. Or, oh my gosh, I got a new job. That's also great. Your wins are your wins. Like they're completely your own, they're completely personal. For example, this whole class thing. Some of my friends, they always go to class and that's great. Sometimes I can't, like I physically, mentally, <laughs> I just can't go to class. Like I just, uh, I'm just gonna put mascara on. I watched this trick, oh, I really don't remember her name, but she's, she's that girl on YouTube who tells the scary stories and does her makeup. I'm just using the uh, Sephora by um, the big, big by definition Sephora makeup. I just got it because of the packaging. Purple's my favorite color, so that's why I got it. The girl that tells the scary stories and does her makeup, she was talking about this trick where you hold the mirror upside down and you go like that. This is the look. Okay, so I just put on this, um, I don't know what it is. It's the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. It's the mini one. It's the small version. Um, but yeah, so let's take out these hair clips. And this is my look. Unfortunately, I will not be wearing my Renaissance World Tour of Beyonce merch shirt to school because this is special. Those are my five tips and a few updates about my life. Also, if you have other mental health tips, I'd love to hear them. So you can also comment them as well. And if you want to see more, you like my vibe and you kind of raise each other, then yeah, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Okay.